What's up guys, Brunsnick's back and I have the Hammer Axe. Now this is a spare ball in the Hammer line, but it does have a light reactive cover stock for more durability and a little bit of friction on the lanes. Now I'm gonna get this on the lanes and see exactly what it does out of box and bring it all the way down to 1000 grit. But first, before we do that, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's see what the Hammer Axe can do. All right, you guys. Got the new spare ball from Hammer, it's the Axe. Now this is a spare ball, like I said, but it does have a resin cover stock. No core in this ball, this core has a similar puck system like in other plastic balls in our line. But for funsies, I still put the pin <laughs> four inches by 20 degree, just to see if this ball could potentially be a super burn ball. Never know. So I'm gonna try it. I fully expect this ball to go straight, so I brought some pads with me. We'll start with 2,000, we'll start down in 1,000, but first we'll throw it shiny. It's super gorgeous ball. This thing is nice colors. It comes in three colors. Uh, yeah, let's, um, let's try the ax. I'm gonna start it from way out and just see what happens. I have no idea what this ball is gonna do. Oh! Okay, now there is a little bit of friction out there on the one board. Does this ball flare at all? It does, not a lot, but it does flare about an inch. Not much, it does flare, it does have a resin cover. I was not expecting to see that ball hook from out there. I think it's gonna just tame out now. I think that was a fluke. There's no way this ball hooks. Okay, that's more what I thought it was gonna do. I obviously got that first ball way out there where there's hardly any oil because you don't really have to oil the outside boards. But yeah. Okay, that was at least cool to see. I mean, since it's a spare ball, I think I gotta try practicing my 10 pin, right? Try to pick it off clean. Why not, right? Let's see how this ball does with spares. Okay, works great as a spare ball. It goes straight as could be. That we all know. Now why did we put a resin cover on there? That's a great question. Part of it to do with durability. You know, resin ball is gonna last a little bit longer. It's not gonna be as brittle as a plastic ball. All right, well, we got two year warranty on this thing. All right, let's really soften the speed. I think I can play it out here. Nope, I really can't. <laughs> All right, so we know it's good for spares. Let's get right into it. Let's hit it with the 2000 pad. Let's see if we can make this ball come alive a little bit. I'm not expecting for much. I'm just expecting for a little bit more. Just a 2000 by hand. Just a touch of shell, but to be honest, a ball like this, probably gonna need more, and that's why I brought the thousand. All right. Let's do it again. <laughs> this could be a good ball for someone that is extremely rev dominant or throws the ball with a low wall speed. You know, back when I had my pro shops, we had a lot of seniors that bowled. Their ball speeds aren't what they used to be. This would be a great ball as a step up from having to throw plastic or urethane. Ah. 
Come on. Come on. <laughs> very, very speed sensitive. That's okay. We're going to have fun with this review. You know, I might even try to get up on the gutter, play the twig a little bit, see if there's that friction out there wide. But I think this ball, if you really want a good dry lane ball, this could be an option for you. All right. I'm getting way right. We're going to get this out by the friction here, right on it. A little known fact about me, I actually prefer to play on the gutter when possible. You know, a lot of patterns out on the regional tour, they always played out to start. I just got really comfortable. And it wasn't always that way. All right, one more shot from out there. Hit that. All right. Okay, so 2,000 a grit. They got it to, to slow down a little bit. It didn't really make it crazy hook potential. So now we're going to add a little bit more, 1,000 grit by hand. This, this is really going to be roughing it up. You even hear it. Turning this ball into a little bit of a snowball now, but this will be a fun test. Personally, I don't use a spare ball. I don't carry a separate ball for spares. I'm typically throwing my purple hammer as my spare ball when I'm in competition. All right, now we got a thousand on it. I'm gonna move back to where I kind of started. <laughs> yes, she's alive. Okay. Thousand grit. Now that looked like a pretty typical ball reaction from reactive. See this flare. Now we can get a better understanding that you can drill this ball to flare a little bit. You can see the layout. The pin's in black, so it's really hard to see, but it's actually right next to the, the hammer CG the marker. And with the three ounce balance, no, I mean three ounce CG rule where you can have finger weight up to three, side weight up to three. You can lay it out like that. Okay. That ball hooked a lot. I think I can get a little more aggressive with my speed now. <laughs> We're sending scouts. We're kicking the 10 pin out. This is a great dual purpose ball. Obviously, if you want this ball as a spare ball, cool. Leave it shiny. If you want this ball as a dual purpose ball, where you can still throw it spares, and I could still knock the 10 out with a thousand grit. Watch. Thousand grit going cross lane and throwing it hard is not going to make a big difference. Didn't pick it clean, but you get the idea. Like, you can make this ball do whatever you want. It's kind of ingenious, you know, making a spare ball that has just a little bit of reactive resin to it. Let's throw another shot to hook here. I'm actually really excited for this ball. <laughs> Ball sets up so nice with a thousand grit. I don't think I would go any more because then you're really going to start taking away from its spare possibilities here. But this ball hooks a little bit if you want it to. I'm not saying go out there, just hit it with a thousand. Now you got a dry lane ball, but you can do that. Or if you want a cool spare ball, hey, you're in luck. They come in three colors. Come on. 
This is just a great rolling ball. You know, this is um, this is what I imagine like people bowling in like the late 70s, early 80s with polyester, when you had that, that high friction surface out there, where the ball just kind of doesn't really change direction a whole lot. It's just kind of kind of gradual, kind of sweeping ball motion. All right, so I moved left off that one a 10 pin after the four pins. So go right in between. Let's throw a strike and we'll call this one a day. So as the, the ball starts to shine itself up again, because obviously you can't hit the surface again during league or tournaments or anything once you've applied it in practice. But as you can see, you know, it's starting to labor a little bit. This is a ball you're gonna need that friction if you want that ball to hook, or you're just gonna need a whole lot of friction out there to get that ball to move. I just want one sweet one right through the pins. Split the eight nine to end this video. That's even better than splitting the eight nine. That is stone nine with the new axe from Hammer, which is a spare ball with a light reactive cover. Three colors available, and it has a T-zone type core, all the way down to eight pounds. So, talk to your local pro shop about ordering your next duo spare ball slash bone dry lane ball. Till next time.